Have you ever recorded something in Logic Pro only to find out afterwards that you are way more out of time than you thought? However, sometimes it's not your fault. Sometimes latency is to blame. What is latency? I'm glad you asked. Latency is essentially another word for delay. It means that there is delay in your system. So from the time when you hit play or record in Logic, it then goes through your interface, through your speakers, into your ears, you record the instrument or the vocals, and it goes back through the interface, back through the converters, and back into Logic. Now, we want that to be as quick as possible, but sometimes it takes a few milliseconds for that round trip to occur. Let me demonstrate. I've purposely added in some delay here to show you a before and after. And don't worry, I'll show you how you can add, but more importantly, remove delay from your system in a minute. Here's me recording guitar with latency. Here's me recording guitar normally. If we go in now and take a look at that, you'll notice when I listen back, one is very much out of time. Now you should be able to hear that, but if not, you can definitely see this here. And although when I was playing it, maybe I was a little bit off, I was no way near that much off. Okay, so you should be able to see and hear that this is much better. But the truth is, I played them both exactly the same. Yet there is clearly latency here. There is a big difference. So now you understand what latency is and how to spot it. So basically, it just seems like you were out of time. But when you were playing it, when you were recording it, it felt fine. So what can you do about it? Well, first, let's see if there is actually a problem. For this, we need to go to the audio settings in Logic. So this here is really important. This is your audio in out buffer. And this is the easiest way to improve your latency. The lower this number is, the better for recording. The higher this number is, the better your project will run when you have lots of plugins and you're doing more mixing and heavier into your arrangement. This buffer basically decides whether it gives you more power at the recording stage or more power when you've got lots of intensive plugins running. This will vary depending on your Mac, but for me, 64 seems to run best when I'm recording and 512 seems to work best when I need a bit more power. And what you should notice is that when I change this, this one underneath it, the resulting latency will change depending on what figure you have so you can actually see how much delay is in your system so the in out buffer is the first place to check if you've got some latency problems when recording if you've got it set on the highest setting try bringing it down to the lowest setting see if that helps the next thing you can do is a super quick fix all you have to do here is just turn on low latency monitoring mode to do this you just go up here to record and then you press low latency monitoring mode and what this does is it will disable any plugins that you have on your recording chain that are quite intensive. So you'll see they turn orange and they get disabled. That's super simple, right? Okay, so the third way is to be proactive to stop any latency issues in your recording. So if you normally put a load of plugins on your channel strip when you're recording in a vocalist or recording yourself playing guitar or piano or whatever it is, then you should really stop. Adding loads of plugins at this stage will increase the latency. You can even see how much latency this adds by hovering over the plugin and it will tell you in milliseconds and samples how much latency that plugin is using or creating. It may not look like too much, but as soon as you add like an auto-tune or a few other intensive plugins, that will soon add up and it will soon add unnecessary latency to your recording. So here are a couple of workarounds for this. Use the native Logic Pro plugins first. If you're say working with a vocalist and they really want the reverb on their voice on the way in, you can always use Space Designer or even a Silver Verb and then later on you can change it out for a better plugin, such as a third party one. Also try to avoid using sends at this stage. Sends also seem to lengthen the signal path and they also seem to add a fair amount of latency for some reason and probably the best fix for this is to use direct monitoring when you are recording so rather than monitoring through logic you're actually just going to be monitoring the source through your audio interface and you can bypass the door for monitoring most interfaces have a mixer pot on it a mixer dial and you can choose between listening to the playback from your door or the input on the way in 
And if you're listening to it on the way in, you haven't got to wait for it to do that whole round trip. And it will therefore help you or your vocalist or whoever play in time a lot easier. Okay, so there you have it. There are a few techniques for reducing latency in Logic Pro so you can record in time better. If you want to master learning Logic Pro, then head to my website where there are a load of courses. You'll find free ones and some more advanced ones for sale. Or alternatively, you can message me for some one-to-one -one tuition on Zoom. I hope that helped and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.